Hey, kia ora guys. Uh, so I thought I would record something really quickly just to talk about some of the guests I've got coming up and also to talk about some of the guests that I've had on the podcast. Um, someone asked me a while back, how do I choose the people who want to be on the podcast? Um, and it's not a question of choosing. There are some people that I feel that I really want to have on the podcast, but I'm not really there in terms of into being an interviewer and things like that is these people that I really, really want to have on the podcast. Um, but I always approach the people that um, I have on the podcast. Now, you see with Andy Rodriguez Sensei um, from Delaware, he is the Iwa Dojo there. I met him in Okinawa uh, training with a group of his students and some colleagues and just a really hard trainer and just a really lovely guy and his take on martial arts is really interesting because he talks about vulnerability as a sensei, which is not something you hear a lot about. And vulnerability in the sense that he doesn't mind saying he doesn't know a thing and actually invites the students to discover it with him. So I think that's really unique and interesting and do check that out. Coming up next week, I've got Shai Hai Sensei of Weichuru and it's a really deep interview. It's an interesting interview from lots of different perspectives. Um, hearing about his journey as uh, a young kid growing up doing karate, going to Okinawa and going to arguably one of the most famous sensei in the world, um, Kiyohide Shinjo sensei, um, and training with both he and his students and doing it in a way that kind of sounds like a movie, getting rejected three times but going back three times and just the journey that he has had. That's pretty amazing. The conversation is deep, but I encourage you to stick with it. So that's gonna come out on the YouTube channel and on the podcast at the same time. I try and sync those two things up so you can watch it or you can um, listen to it. Either way, I really appreciate the time that people take to listen to the podcast. I'm trying to do more and more episodes and try and get more and more interesting people. Now, like I said, I don't choose. I genuinely um, hustle to get people on the podcast. I, I Sometimes I'll ring up a friend who knows a friend, who knows a friend, who knows that person. Um, there are also people that I really want to have on the podcast, but to be honest, I've kind of been waiting till I felt that I've been a better interviewer to have them on. Maybe there's a little bit of um, self-sabotage going on there, I don't know, but there's some really incredible people that I want to get on, people that I've followed for years, and I'm going to make the commitment to get them on. Anyway, um, I hope you're training. Um, the weather here is nice and sunny. We are in winter in New Zealand, but it's good to get your gear on, good to train hard, um, and I hope you listen to a, a podcast. I try to make them so that if you're punching a makiwara, or you're sitting in a car, or you're getting changed after a training, or you just like listening to a decent podcast, um, that it's something consumable and interesting. And that's why it's so important as a famous person, way more famous than me, says you've got to follow your curiosity. So if you're training and you're wondering what's going on and you're hitting a plateau, my advice for today would be go easy on yourself, take a step back and remember why you enjoy doing the martial art that you do. And don't be frightened to add an element of play. I know that's kind of a weird thing for people to say. An element of experimentation, an element of uh, research, an element of fun because, you know, like I've, I say a lot on the podcast, this stuff has to be fun. So thanks anyway, guys. I hope you enjoy Andy Rodriguez Sensei's interview and looking forward to Shohei Sensei's um, interview as well. And we'll let you know what's happening in the future. I've um, got some seminars coming up as well that would love for you to attend the Kizuna here in New Zealand, October 2024, and a couple of other surprises. Anyway, take care, guys, and looking forward to doing lots more podcasts and hopefully getting an opportunity to train with you in person here at the here at the <laughs> Invisible Sensei Dojo anytime.